Man, what's good, YouTube? We're back with another banger today. All right, it's going to be a little 420 vid, you know what I'm saying? In the spirit of things, we're going to have hiring professional blood rollers off Craigslist. Part dose. Anywho, I don't smoke, but uh, should be a pretty good video. Kind of excited to see what they roll, so we're going to drop right into it. What makes you qualify Dang, this to be a professional fuck. blunt roller? I've been smoking since I was nine. I've been head of the blunt rolling situation. Would you be willing to submit a urine sample just to prove that you are actually high? Mm. Sure. No one save you, bitch. Before we start this video, I just want to say happy 420 and to celebrate, <coughs> I partnered with Purple Rose Supply to do a giveaway on all four sizes of the can right here. Yet. So literally all you have to do is right. like this video. No ads, bro. And this yet take all an hour to anything all you want. Shit, so blue, you don't have to be a professional. Should do this interview process first for Mr. Ten Rear. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Christopher. What makes you think you're qualified to be a blood roller? I've been rolling bloods all my life. I've um, been smoking weed since I was 10. Since you were 10? Yeah, I used to get into my mom's stash. Found out that when she smoked weed, it always was a benefit to me because she was in a good mood. And I make sure that I told her that I didn't like it so she wouldn't hide it from me. Eventually, uh, grandma, you know, knew that I smoked weed and I told her that, like, you know, I can get into mom's stash. And she's like, okay, come on, can you smoke with me? I'm like, sure. So I got, you know, the weed and started rolling up for grandma. And then it was just a whole family thing. So ever since then, I've been rolling bloods all my life. You started at 10 and you're how old right now? Me? I'm 41. 31. Man, what an origin story, bro. From kid to famous blunt roller. He put the family on for real. Here's experience. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, you might be our most experienced candidate so far. Would you say that rolling blinds is a passion? Oh, absolutely. It's an art form. Actually, some people request me to roll for them before I leave. Mm -hmm. Before you leave? Yeah, before I leave their house, you know, and get together. So. But you don't mean leave like, like you wouldn't leave the job, you know? No. Because that, that would be a problem, you know? Uh, what would you say it your biggest weakness is yeah. when it comes to rolling blunts? Uh, Being too perfect. Rolling a absolute pearl of a blizz app, you know what I'm saying? This guy does roll a pearl, though. I mean, just look at the drug rug. It's a drug rug crop top, dude. This guy means business, man. Uh, probably leaves. Where do you see yourself uh, 10 years from now? Uh, owning my own clothing line. I do runway. I'm a dancer. I have a performance tonight. Dancing? Yeah. Could you show us a couple moves? He's trying not to laugh. <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 hey. Do you think you can roll one while dancing? Well, dancing, I could definitely do like an up rock. Yeah, yeah. Type of thing. Well, shit, dude. He don't even need a job as a blonde roller, man. This guy needs to be on Broadway. What the fuck? <laughs> The clothing line, do you feel like it could uh, potentially conflict with uh, the blunt rolling? No, because I work on my own schedule. It, it wouldn't conflict with this job? No. And uh, are you high right now? Yes. Uh, would you be willing to submit a urine sample? A urine sample? Yeah, just to prove that you are actually high. Mm. Sure. Mr. Tanweer. <laughs> Do, do we need to do that or? I mean, I can show you my bag right now. I got weed, blood, I, want, I can roll up my own chair right now. Yeah, it's not required, but it's highly recommended. So the bathroom, if you go down right here to the right. <coughs> beautiful, you can just uh, leave it over here. Yeah, the other candidate is actually coming up right now. Nice to meet you. Vladimir, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm 25. Um, I'm not from LA originally. I'm from uh, DC. A lot of things in the media space I do, um, I got right. As far as work, I've done, like out here, I've been doing staging. So I've been like building um, stages for shows and stuff like that. Of course, I smoke my whole life, so. But when did you start smoking? Um, I started smoking when I was, I'd say like 13. 14. Yeah, he started at 10. You got me beat, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't outside like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I was inside, actually. Yeah. My mom said you better smoke inside the house rather than you outside the street. But he does have you beat on the experience. 31 yeah. years, you know? Thank you. Vladimir, right here. He's one. Hurry, nine interviews. I'll ask you the same question. What makes you qualified to be a professional blunt roller? It's just. She got an entourage. <laughs> she got an entourage for blood rolling. It's hard. Yeah, she's there from world sport for real. You know what I'm saying? A part of my lifestyle. Just been kind of doing it the last 10 years. So 
So you only started at 23. I'm almost What if I told you these guys started at 13 and 10? That's awesome. 13. It's pretty competitive. All right, this is Roy. Right Very here, good. we have 31 years experience. You started at 13, so 18 years experience, 12 years experience. Do you think you have more experience or more what it takes than all these other candidates? I've been smoking since I was nine. I've been head of the blunt rolling situation where, you know, the joints for all the dispensaries, the pre-rolls, backwoods, the packwoods, the whole nine. My experience comes from self. Since I was a kid, I had I was born with sick, a full-blown sickle cell. A lot of my friends, they do it just to do it, or they do it just to, for the thing or the high. You know what I mean? I do it because I have an illness. Mr. Tanrier, what do you think? Yo, hey, this guy me business, bro. He the blood rolling avatar. He do anything. Joints, hand wraps, blunts. He grow any blunt, white owl, switch sweet, man, anything. It don't matter. Backwoods. You know what I'm saying? He can roll a, uh, what's it called? A donut. If you know, you know. Is there anyone else willing to submit the urine test before we start rolling? Right, 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 right. Um, just, yeah. just to prove you guys smoke. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me knock this water down. I'm late. Does anybody have any, any final... Thing to add why you'd be better than the other this candidates. Test it's just the way of life. When you roll a blunt, you're putting that energy into the blunt. So if it's positive energy and the person's smoking it, it's going to get positive energy back to them. So you always want to be in good spirit all the time while you're around the client. All right, who y'all think I have the best one, bro? I don't know, man. It's a toss -up between these two. Hey, she might be an underdog here, though. I doubt it, but. Homie right here, homie right here. I mean, this guy's been on the, you know, the corporate side of things. You know, he's he's the Wall Street blunt roller. You know what I'm saying? And then we got homie over here. Man, this dude can lead a cold if you want to. A little blunt coat. You know what I'm saying? He's got experience. Experience on experience. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Ever because your energy is the vibe that's going to be the blunt he got, he got such a raw passion for it. All right, Mr. Tenbeer. He going to be the best one. Blunts. And then here's some weed right here, some I-13 Kush. And yeah, you guys just start grinding up and doing your thing. And you just keep the urine like, like on the floor <laughs> or something. Just for the rolling part, keep it sanitary. What uh, brand of weed is that? What strand? It's called IL-13 Kush. We're trying to get it in the shelves of Walmart. Really? Walmart? Yeah, we're trying to push it. Yeah, Walmart, that's hard. Yeah, oh it's it's hard to push it in there, but you know I've been I've been trying for a couple of years. It's all gonna be sold in aisle thirteen. You said aisle thirteen, so you know yeah. for sure aisle thirteen. Exactly, yeah. So you know aisle thirteen coach is kind of marketed to look like Walmart. For the past few years, I would just go in Walmart and like smoke it in there to kind of like manifest it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Basically, like force my way in. Like this is gonna happen, whether you guys like it or not. Have you had any hits from Walmart? Any what? Hits? Like they reached out to you? I've talking to some people. It's just a matter of like legality stuff right now that I'm dealing Absolutely. with, trying to get through. It's super complicated. I actually told him already that you smoke 80 blunts a day. Up to 80, yeah. 80 blunts in a day? Yeah. I'm trying to beat Snoop Dogg's record because like if you Google how many blunts Snoop Dogg smoke, it's 81. So right off the bat, you got speed. I've been rolling so much. Like, so you, you think you could roll 80 blunts a day? Oh, yeah. Yeah? You wouldn't start getting like cramps or anything oh, like that? I probably smoke just probably about like 40 blunts a day. Like I smoke a lot. I'm a functioning smoking weed. Me too. Like, like, like two ounces mind. a day, roughly. Richard Denver? Corner? Two ounces a day? What the fuck? Damn, this dude goes through a pound a week. Fucking hey, dude. Almost. Almost a pound a week. A little bit under. What's that? Like, yeah, 14 ounces. Two ounces off. Did you see the uh, email from Alex? He's going to be uh, 15 minutes late. He's going to be late again? I've had this guy, Alex, that's been rolling, and uh, he's been showing up late every single day. Alex thinks you're a game. He thinks it's a game, bro. Who rolled this one? Yeah, nice. Yeah, this one hits pretty hard. It all goes from days of, throughout the day, you know, in the morning, you don't want to smoke a bigger blunt you're about to start your day. At yeah. nighttime, you have a long, stressful day. You know what I mean? Around this time, you're trying to simmer down. You want that shit to be down there thing. I mean, it varies, you know what I mean? Have you guys ever been in a scenario? You're in the back seat of a car. The car is completely filled up. You're going like 80 down the highway. It's dark outside, windows down, and you're trying to roll a blunt. It's usually always like some girl like driving like a Nissan Altima, no offense. Who is so this what's guy? Your, what's your technique? in that situation. Twist fast, oh, make yeah. sure the weed is broken down yeah. dearly, exactly. and you got a good leaf. So how does the IO-13 cushion? Bro, who is this guy?
Did they introduce him? I don't know who this is. Is no. it? So that's, that's what all this is right here? Yeah. No, that's fire. I also wanted to tell you guys about this right here. Did you, have you ever seen this product before? It's called a Purple Rose Supply. I like to roll these a lot, especially when I have like a lot of people that I'm smoking with. I was going to do it, but I think we already like smoked all the weed, so it's all good. So basically, it's this thing where you pack weed inside this. Oh, yeah. You've seen this before? Yeah. And it fits like, you know, you can probably squeeze like four grams yeah, in this little thing. Like... And it makes it to where it burns like super yeah. slow. Yeah. 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 Even with like eight people, it'll go around like six rotations. <laughs> it's probably like 42 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's still the rope just be like, like yeah. Yeah. They actually have different sizes. Like this is like yeah. the smallest, like the glass one, but they have like big ass sizes. Like you can roll like almost ounce blunts in that shit. I couldn't help but notice that she was getting a little bit high off all the blunts we were passing around. So I started to get a little bit worried. Hopefully you have a driver. You good? It's <laughs> <laughs> a lovely Saturday. I'm off. Like, this yeah. is uh oh. She's not hanging with the big dogs. Man! Oh! Fake it till you make it, though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, hey, when you start zoning out, though, on some shit, you just like, they, 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 they pass to you, you like, you know what I'm saying? You cooked. I don't smoke weed, but I've seen it happen firsthand. This is awesome. One thing I noticed with everybody here, you know, I, you know, with the security, I just know body language. So nobody is really falling asleep. He aware, he aware, he aware. You know what I'm saying? Everybody aware. Is, is anybody else doing the urine samples? What else have we got to put the bitch in? Yeah. Solo cups. Should we put our names on it? Yes, Probably, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Let's do yeah. that again. So should I do the thing uh, before they leave to check the color to see who's the highest? Yeah, if you can. See who's the highest. What's yeah. the whole proposed thing? He has some higher up bosses, and yeah. basically they like to see. You know what I'm saying? Like for instance, we just all smoked a blunt. You know what I'm saying? But they still like to see. You know who was really potent? Who's really smoking? Like He's the far right. How high right. Right. Like, no, 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 no. How how high? How high the potency is with the TAC? Yeah, remember the guy? Yeah. Which one? The guy who was lying. Oh, the guy that said he smoked and he didn't smoke? Yeah. That's when we yeah. st we started implementing this policy. <laughs> yeah, he came here and he was like, nah, bro, I'm feeling kind of sick right now. So he didn't smoke. And I was like, all right, no worries. And we did the test and he peed and his piss came clean. So I was like, how are you expecting to do this job when you don't even smoke? Do you have the tester? Should I look for it? Yeah. Okay. The toilet paper in the toilet. Who dropped that one in? Somebody dropped toilet paper in the toilet? Yeah. Like really? The whole roll. Yeah, when I went in there, I thought it was something normal, but I didn't fuck with it. But Because no. that means they're really high, but like, why did they leave? Damn, it was a shorty. It was a shorty, bruh. Oh, man. She was just trying to get an easy job, man. I respect it. She saw a little Indeed ad and chopped on, but I ain't gonna say no. Like a whole fucking roll just in the I toilet. I didn't know what to do about it. I was like, I, I said, should I grab it out? I said, hold oh, on. I mean, I don't know why they left because it's bonus points. Yeah, so basically we use uh, the deep cleaning face wash with the honey, but it has to be organic raw honey. Mix it together and like the color that it turns, you'll see like one will be a different color and that's how you know it's the most potent. This gentleman's cup right here. Who's that? That's mine. That's serious? Give it about 30 seconds. This one's not super like dark. Whose was this? Mine. So surprisingly, this one the, looks like the least potent. What do you mean dark? Like, like the more the rich more dark it is, it's hard the more to explain. Potent. It's, it's not dark, it's like the more rich it looks. The more rich it looks. It has to look like almost like a golden texture, and that's like the most potent. This yeah. is Chris here, this is the gentleman to the right of me, this is the gentleman to the left, and this is me. And as I'm looking... I think it's this one. Chris and, but look at the gentleman oh, to the left. Oh, you're Chris. What about the gentleman to the left? Him and Chris is the darkest ones. Chris shit is sitting in the corner. I see what you're saying as far as the, as far as the, the texture. Chris shit is sitting in the corner. You have the best piece. Bro. Nigga Chris shit dark. You know what I'm saying? I think I ain't gonna front. That shit kinda like, hold oh, no. on, is that Chris on the second one? Look at that. <laughs> After looking at it, look at the gentleman that left. I'm not saying that he's darker than Chris, but he no, it's, it's, it's a little dark. darker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I'm being honest, that guy kind of had an attitude, but now seeing this and then the toilet paper, you know, maybe I was wrong about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good guy. Also, he did the toilet paper, dude. Yeah, this one's kind of suspicious. Suspicious like what? It's too bright. Whose one was this? Mine. That's yours? Come look at it real quick. You see how it's like mostly clear? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how this works, so I guess, yeah. Are you sure that you smoke? I mean, we just smoked, but yeah. is that like your first time smoking? Yeah. Like, did you inhale? Bro, is this real? Is this real or am I getting clowned right now? I think he's fucking with them because they hired, but. I'm gonna right now. Here's the residue of my rolling tray. Let me see. I don't, you're, you're the expert. Looks like a bunch of rolling there for sure. Yeah. Got everything we need? Yeah, well, I mean, we'll have to rewatch the footage. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, brother. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, Thank you so yeah. much for this. What did you cause at my house today? <laughs> like, what is this, bro? I don't even smoke weed. <laughs> this is a 420 special, bro. Bro, every time one more of them kept, like, spawning, I was just like, what the fuck is this? It was like, like a prank on More and more and more. This <laughs> 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 has all been a prank on Eric this whole time. Bro. Eric doesn't smoke, and he doesn't like random people in his house. <laughs> so that's exactly 
what I did in this house today. I mean, the first guy was actually like the most legit out of all yeah. of them. Yeah, that's literally probably who I would pick. Cause bro, he, did you see how fast he rolled three blunts too? He rolled three blunts before anybody rolled one. If this was real, I mean, he'd get the job. Yeah! <laughs> What I tell y'all, man? I know, I know. I'm telling you, he's got a passion for it. You know what I'm saying? I submitted a fucking urine test, bro. We got, <laughs> Wait, I need a party cup, bro. This is disgusting. <laughs> we gotta clean this. Happy 420. Hey, man. Say, man. That's gonna be it for the video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And man, if you like more videos like this, man, keep rocking with me. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you have a blessed day. I'm gonna catch you on the next one, man. Peace.